Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 REACH Symposium. The symposium will take place over the next two days, with three hours each day of presentations, conversations, and case studies. You'll experience the entire program right here on the symposium website. We encourage you to submit comments and questions throughout using the buttons directly to the right of this window. If you have any difficulties with the site, just look for the need help prompt at the bottom of the page. And to learn more about the REACH Alliance, please visit the REACH website. While we are joining today from around the world, we wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. And now, please welcome the Executive Director of the REACH Alliance, Marin McLeod. Welcome everyone to the 2021 REACH Symposium. My name is Marin McLeod. I'm the Executive Director of the REACH Alliance, and I'm honored to be your host today, welcoming so many attendees from across the academy, the public, private, and third sectors. And there are about 200 of you in the audience today, representing over 80 organizations from around the world. We have every reason to give up. No one would blame us if we just said, we can't do this. We can't achieve the sustainable development goals. But what this last year has shown us, and what I think you know, it, all of us are here today um, to understand is that the reaching the hardest to reach is more important than ever. What started as a modest academic project here at the University of Toronto's Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy has transformed into a global initiative dedicated to identifying and examining innovations that at their core have the goal of reaching the hardest to reach, the most marginalized, the geographically remote. Not only is this our goal, but we are doubling down. Now, Joe Wong is the Rosin Ralph Professor of Innovation at the Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy and the Vice President International at the University of Toronto. Joe is also the founder of the REACH Alliance. And in 2015, he created this awesome initiative. Since then, his vision for student leadership, his commitment to student experience, and his belief in the power of our generation, my generation, to achieve the sustainable development goals has inspired this global movement. Our work at REACH is driven by students and mentored by dedicated faculty from across all disciplines. The work that we do, though, is really powered by the extraordinary people on the ground, those at the front lines that are reaching the hardest to reach. REACH alumni are change makers, dogged in their approach and accelerated in their pursuit when it comes to achieving the sustainable development goals. They are engaged and employed in all sectors, and I'm really excited for you to meet some of them over the next two days. The REACH Alliance is about partnerships too. And this year we doubled down. We doubled down with the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth to launch the REACH Alliance at last year's symposium. We doubled down with other academic institutions to accelerate our collective impact this year. And we'll tell you a lot more about that tomorrow. What's important to us here at REACH is the fact that partnerships are necessary, but not sufficient when it comes to achieving the sustainable development goals, to leaving no one behind. Here at REACH, what's most important to us is the impact that's being generated by our partnerships. And our partnerships here generate actionable insights, case studies. This year, we're launching seven new case studies, and that's the most we've ever launched in a single year period since our inception. This is really important because it's something we decided to do as our way of doubling down. Now, our case studies have investigated topics from polio eradication in India, and actually these findings were just published in the British Medical Journal earlier this week, to biometric cash assistance for Syrian refugees in Jordan, to birth registration in South Africa. Now, let's watch this video. I think it tells the story better than I can. <laughs> 